We respectfully request the Sangha grave virtues for the sake of this assembly and all living beings. Please turn the wonderful Dharma wheel to teach and guide us how to end birth and death leave suffering and attain bliss and quickly realize non-birth. <coughs> Homage of the blessed and noble and perfectly enlightened one. Namo Sadanto Sucedo Ye Lahudi San Miao San Puto Se. Namo Tatata to Yada Ya La De Tamil Tambo Da Toa. The unsurpassed, profound, subtle, and wonderful Dharma in a hundred thousand million aeons is difficult to encounter. 
Now that I'm able to see and hear, I will receive and maintain it. I vow to fathom the thus come one's true and actual principles. Wu Shang Sheng Sheng Wei Miao Fa Bai Chi Wan Chi Nan Zao Yi Wu Ho Jin Jie Wen De Shou Chi Yuan Jie Ru Lai Chi O oh, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, a great master of Wei Nang, great master of Shen Hua, all good monks and nuns, and all good advisors are made uh, All Hello everyone, today is the 22nd of April, 2023. We are here. We are here in Jewel Conk uh, to continue discussing Six Bay Track Sutra. Well, thank you all for coming. Uh, first of all, my apologies to all of you for running over time this morning. It's a, it's a rather difficult anecdote from the Weiyang uh, school. Well, probably want to discuss it again next time to clarify a few more things. We're almost there, okay? <laughs> I promise. Yeah. Okay, so here in chapter 4, slide 63. Okay. Can have the intertemple screen, or is it something that costs extra? Okay, the text says, "Good knowing advisors to be separate from all outward marks is called no mark. The ability to be separate from marks is a purity of the Dharma's substance. That is, to take no mark as a substance. Chinese would be nice. The Mahayana teaching, the six page chart says, in our Chan school, his Chan school, he, he teaches about the substance of the Chan school. The substance of Mahayana. What is the substance of Mahayana? Uh, that is no mark. So everything you learn about Mahayana is about no marks. What is no marks? He says, no mark is to be apart from all marks. On the outside. Uh, yeah. 
So, so you say it's not from outward marks, but outside it to be separate from all marks. What's the difference between outward mark and outside no marks? The translation in English says outward marks, meaning marks on the outside. The translation, actually the Chinese meaning is outside, you are apart from all marks. I don't know what the Korean uh, translation is, but English translation, they combine the Y with the Xiang. Okay? Whereas it's separate. Originally from the text itself, it says outside, okay, you are apart from all marks. Literally, that's what it says. And my question to you, what is the difference? You don't need to understand Chinese to answer this. Don't blame it on the Chinese. No, I don't understand Chinese. No, you don't need to understand Chinese. There's a difference. Outside mark, exterior mark versus outside not being attached to marks. Are you still hungry? Are you sleepy? Anyone, there's so many of you. I usually don't have this kind of many people listening to this sutra lecture, okay? <laughs> so you have to forgive me for being a little bit nervous. Huh. So many of you, you can't even answer this. What's the difference? The outward mark versus outside no mark. What they don't realize, because they're not they're not strong in the English, is that when you say outside mark, like here, outside mark. In English, it implies that there's also inside marks. So does it mean that it's okay to have inside mark, attach an inside mark, but no outside marks? You understand? In that case, that's incorrect. He's talking about being detached from all marks. On the outside. Okay? Inside is not relevant. It's about outside only. What he's teaching about is that whatever you see outside of yourself, through your six sense organs, whether it's a smell, whether it's a form, Hmm? Whether it's a sound, all those are marks, all your six sense organs bring in outside marks to you. It's very specific. He says, whatever your sense organs tell you, bring inside to you. What do you do? You're not attached to any of it. It's not about outward mark, it's about inside mark. It's about whatever is brought in by your sense organ. See that? That's why. Why? Why is outside? That your sense organs register from the outside. Your eyes, you look at. Yes? Your tongue tastes. Okay, sorry. 
You got that? So, so the teaching is very precise. He says, whatever your sense organs bring in, don't be attached to it. Meaning what? You, your son is so cute. Should you be attached to your son? No, you can have it. Okay? Not easy to do, is it? Well, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about in the school he's teaching. His students are not attached to all external marks. External marks meaning that, that whatever you register. So what does it mean literally? How do you translate that to your daily life? So you get up, and your hair is messy. I, I can't demonstrate that. <laughs> Sorry. Can I borrow someone's hair, please? <laughs> These have no hair. You're the closest. <laughs> See, she's attached. Clearly, I just demonstrated to you. She said, I don't know. I don't know about this. My hair. I combed this morning. I even pinned it a few times. Okay? No, you're not attached to the outside mark. Prove it. Never mind. I didn't brush my hair. <laughs> I didn't wash my face either. Oh. Yeah, that's terrible. Well, she was working in the kitchen. <laughs> that's even worse than I thought. Someone doesn't wash her face in the morning. <laughs> Yuck, how uncivilized. <laughs> Okay. We'll we'll do. We we'll move on from there. Okay. So you see that. Mm. So he says here. What's the implication? It means that nothing is that big of a deal. If you have wisdom, nothing whatsoever. Someone you hate. Comes around. Should you be angry? No. Right? And that's how you make that person angry. Let's <laughs> call sweet revenge. Yeah? See that? So, don't get afflicted. Someone insult you. Don't get afflicted. Someone stab you in the back. Don't get afflicted. Okay, stab me some more. Here's my chest here now. You forgot the front. Okay. Someone buys you an XM3. BMW. Oh God, you guys. BMW, you are. You are so uncultured. <laughs> if I give you XM3, what do you do? Is that all? <laughs> Got that? Okay. Nothing bothers you. And that's the substance of wisdom. If you have wisdom, you're not attached 
to anything on the outside. Because you attach anything on the outside, what happens? You become depressed. <laughs> Why is life so hard? Why am I so poor? Why no one likes me? Why did I forget to wash my face this morning? Now she wears a mask. <laughs> too much. Lucky I'm not attached to masks. Got that? It's freedom. You're not attached to anything outside. Phrases, criticism, hmm? nothing whatsoever. Would you like that or no? What if you're, you're criticized at the temple? Does it bother you? Yeah, someone says, yeah, it would bother me. I only comes once in a blue moon and so on. Chris says, what would be the No, I don't even bother coming to the temple. Huh? I'm asking you. Not be able to get along with someone else. Would that bother you? Come on, come on, be honest. You're so scared, aren't you? You say, oh, if I don't help a master carry his heavy stuff, they'll be, they criticize me. Sounds familiar? No? Yeah? But if I let you carry the heavy stuff with your frail hands, arms, about the size of toothpicks, what's going to happen to me, to my beloved American disciples? They criticize me. <laughs> Can't have that. Go ahead, you two. Hello, Master. This is a this is a question from uh, Diego Alfonso. Amito for Master outside mark. Can outside mark be compared with Theravada's teaching? because they go to the mountain so they can go outside of Marx, but there's still separation, so when they come back to civilization, they become afflicted again. Thank you, Master. Alfonso. <laughs> Sounds like it's the question for Daniel in Weimang Temple. 위산사 다니엘이 하는 질문 같이 들리네요. Go ahead. You've been coming to the temple. You Catholic. What have you learned so far? Answer her. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> A 
มือท็อกที่อยู่บนแอปเปิลฮีวอล์กส์โฮมทุกวันเดี๋ยวจะทำอะไรกันต่อใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใ
of the training method itself. That method where you isolate yourself from the outside world in order to cultivate because it's too noisy. People come to us and they are so afflicted. They expect this, they expect that from us. Some are rude. Uh, some are low level try to manipulate us. Uh, some are depressed. When they give the depression to us. So it's not pleasant to be around such people. So it's better to separate from them or reduce the number of people who can come close to us. So it's not simply Hinayana practitioners, but also all practitioners. That premise, their style of practice, is actually because they don't know how to practice. They don't know what it takes to build samadhi, what it takes to build wisdom. They erroneously think that by isolating themselves, they develop wisdom. They develop samadhi power. That is very limited wisdom, very limited samadhi power. A contrast. In, in Mahayana, we don't do that. We engage in all external marks. Like on slide 64, the great master says to be separate is not the same as to run away from all external marks. Can you understand the difference? To run away is not what he says. He says, I'm here. Expose all external marks. Well, I'm not afflicted. There's a huge difference. Questions or comments? Okay. If you run away from civilization, if you run away from the people who will flick you, because they're low level, because they're manipulative. They don't deserve you. Guess what's going to happen? You always attach to the marks, those marks. So what do you do instead? You develop the ability to be separate from marks. So how do you separate from Mark? Yeah, you're standing up. <laughs> uh, cultivate? <laughs> how do you separate from Mark's? Hmm? 
좋아하고 싫어하는 분별심을 없애려고 하, 합니다. We need to apply effort to remove our liking or disliking thoughts. Mm, very good. <웃음> no liking, no disliking. All right. So I don't care. I don't like you. I don't dislike you either. Vast improvement. Yes, sir. What else? 어, 그 방법은 아마 생각을 그 명하스님 말씀이 법문 중에서 생각을 끊으라 했는데 생각을 끊는 수행을 진전을 해서 매일매일 하는 게 최종 생각을 끊어야지 상으로서도 벗어날 것 같습니다. 좀 저기 조금 이렇게 또박또박 얘기 잘안 들려가요. 아 상에서 벗어나려면요 생각을 끊는 것이 정답인 것 같습니다. 생각을 끊는 게 네. 어, in order to separate 생, 어, 상에서 끊으려면요 to to escape from the marks we need to sever all thoughts. Sever all thoughts. Okay, that works. Okay. 웨이마운 Hello Master Just endure Is to endure the same as to be separate from Marx? Yeah, I think so What do the rest of the Koreans think? You agree with her? Your Korean Sunim or you disagree with your Korean Sunim? Test of solidarity. <laughs> Do you stand together with your Korean Sunim? You still remember Soju Sinim, don't you? Soju Sinim. Soju. Soju Sinim. Soju is something else. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know that. Hmm. Hmm? Do you stand together? <laughs> Koreans. It's her friend. It's her friend. No, no, no. Okay, then speak freely. Just remember, Sangguk Sunim is pretty close to Sangguk Sunim. No, no. No, no. You disagree with Sangguk Sunim? Yes. Oh, she disagrees with Soju Sinim. How quickly they forget you. Uh, yes, uh, I agree uh, with her, but uh, I want to say the other teachings. I agree with her, but I want to talk about another teaching. Okay. 제가 요새 불요요 불요요경을 다시 이제 읽고 암송을 하고 있는데 I read again the Bikuri teaching sutra and recite it. 예, 가장 그인그 그 이제 그 언급하신 것 중에서 이제 이야기하고 싶은 부분이 There is something that you mentioned that I want to speak about. 예, contemplative wisdom. 그 he she want to talk about contemplative wisdom. 관 네. 관조지에 대해서 네. 얘기해 보고 싶다고 하십니다. 네. 그래서 처음에 그 처음에 그 고통을 관찰하고 First we need to contemp observe our suffering. 네. 그리고 고통을 계속 관찰함으로써 그거를 do it long enough 충분히 관찰할 수 있는 시간을 가져야 한다고. I understood that we need to have enough time to observe that pain and suffering. 예, 그리고 뭐야? 그러면은 그 삼매가 삼매가 쌓여서 어, 지혜가 열릴 것이다. Then we can develop samadhi and then open wisdom. 예. 그래서 어, 
저기 선생님께서 이야기하시는 거랑 불 요요인 가르침을 <웃음> 예, 이야기하고 싶었습니다. I wanted to talk about what Master said and the teachings from Bikuri Teaching Sutra. Okay, very good. Thank you. 감사합니다. Contemplative wisdom. As long as we there. How do you develop contemplative wisdom? 관조지에는 어떻게 여러분이 개발하나요? The way we train you will help you unfold your contemplative wisdom naturally. You don't need to understand anything. Just do it. Follow instruction. It will help you develop contemplative wisdom, among other things. Don't sit there and say, why, 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 why? How much longer, how much longer, how much longer? Why am I not making progress? Why I have to get up at 2.30 in the morning? Anyone? Hmm? Why do you have to meditate until 11.50 at night? Why is there a break in the middle of the afternoon? Why are Koreans so weak? No, no. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? You are not weak. <laughs> yeah? Jae Hyung, you agree you are not weak? Uh, of course. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> you can't fool me. <laughs> okay. Uh, how does that work? The Chan Chi is a typical of how you develop contemplative, contemplative wisdom. Okay, I will, I'm willing to reveal it to those who are weak only. If you're strong, please leave. Okay, 안녕히 계세요, 가세요. Okay, bye. Okay, we give you five minutes. Please leave, leave, leave. This is only for the weak. Lady, you're strong Korean. The two, the two strong Koreans, <laughs> they changed their position. Now they're weak all of a sudden. Would you like to know the secret recipe that we don't explain even to our own Master Xinhua did not even explain to his own Chinese followers? I didn't explain to my American followers either. But today, <laughs> under special circumstances, <laughs> because Ukrainians are so weak, <laughs> only the weak Koreans. <laughs> we agree that you're weak? <laughs> <laughs> You have no principle whatsoever. It's all about benefit for you. That's why you're so weak. <laughs> okay, way my own commentary. Go ahead and tell them that we Americans are stronger. Morally, tell them how strong we are. How many hours you can sit in full lotus? <laughs> We're not weak, are we? Oh, hello, Master. Uh, uh, I was just trying to reply to the comment that Venerable Sochu said 
that uh, we have to endure it. I agree with her that, but then it is only the beginning step when we endure. But then later on, when you actually feel okay and comfortable and there's no affliction arise in your mind, you're not bothered by it, that's when I think that you can empty it. No. Anyone else? It's ingenious. The way the Chinese train themselves, they don't understand it because it's just like you. You know, you're so used to being abused that you don't need a reason. But there is, but there is, there is a beautiful principle behind how they develop the Chinese way, the Asian way of developing contemplative wisdom is ingenious. And it's not about running away to the to the wilderness. It's running away from people. Not at all. What is it? Go for it. Hello, Master. Uh, I was replying to the previous question yeah. around a, apart from Marx. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, that's too much pressure, Master. Uh, what I was going to say is that um, you don't see Marx as real. You see them as fake. That's how you can be apart from Marx. So she's saying, you don't see a Marx as real. They see them as fake. Objection. Yes? Isn't it like a denial? Yeah, that's Chinese. The Chinese basically are saying that you're not real. You there, but you're not real. It's all intellectual, this Chinese woman. I'm hurting, but you're not real. You hurt me, but you're not real. I hurt my husband's feelings, but I'm not real. His feelings are not real. So it's okay to hurt my husband. This is not. This is not just for Koreans, but I'm, I'm applying this. This is for all the weak people in the world. Not just weak Koreans. I love to rub it in. It's a, an American joke. Okay. Okay. I know we established today that all the Koreans here are weak. So far, so good. See, they're so weak. <laughs> San Jose people, you agree you're weak. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and they agreed immediately. Uh, so weak. Radford agreed. Yeah. Dewey, you agree you're weak. Yeah. Okay, anyone there who's weak, raise your hand. <laughs> the Americans, you know, they're all weak anyway. Yeah. Okay, so why do you think, how do you think we're teaching you how to overcome your weakness? Hmm? It's ingenious, let me tell you. Okay, 
We don't ignore the Koreans here because I still, uh, I still have a few more days. Uh, uh, so let's not overdo it, okay? You're beautiful. <laughs> but San Jose people, what do you think we're doing with you that will help you develop your contempl contemplative wisdom? Do you know? Yeah. It. Do you make us suffer? <laughs> no. Not at all. I'm innocent. <laughs> Look at that, they don't believe it. It's so sad. Yeah, the San Jose people are so ungrateful. Hello? Oh, uh, Master? Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I believe um, you, you teach us to basically endure and basically face, um, instead of running away from difficulties in life, we face it. Um, and then sitting meditation, you know, we train ourselves to face pain. Um, and so we gradually increase, you know, uh, facing pain that gets greater and greater over time. And um, that gradually trains us in life to deal with suffering. Mm. Precisely. It's so clever from Ashishinawas when he brought the Dharma to the U.S. When everyone else who taught meditation, he says, you know, you sit there and you feel blissful, you feel so good. Are you special? Ashishinawas says, endure. Endure what? Endure suffering. If you endure, if you're willing to endure suffering, what does it mean to endure suffering? It means you endure more and more of the suffering. That's how you discover eventually that your suffering is empty. At that moment, you will unfold your contemplative wisdom. It is ingenious. Anyone can do it, including the Koreans, including the San Jose people. All you have to do, kids, is to endure more and more and do not Run away. Do not reject it. That's what happens to young people. You're too smart. The school, your teachers, they train you uh, to find the, the path of least resistance. And that's part of being smart. I'm asking you to be stupid. Do the stupid thing. To endure suffering instead of running away from suffering. Welcome suffering. That's how you develop your wisdom. This particular wisdom requires us to endure suffering. That is the nature of the training. Endure more and more and more no more. And don't come to me and say, Master, why, when is it going to stop? 
언제 멈출 거냐고 나한테 와서 묻지 마십시오. So many students come to me does it pain ever stops? My answer to them is never. Just like people who said, Master, I sacrificed so much for you. You even drive my car. Isn't that enough? I want a Panamera. Got that? San Jose people, you should be grateful to the Koreans here. Because I came here, I realized how weak they are. So I said, my let, let, let it be that my trip has not been in vain, in vain. So I teach them how to open the contemplative wisdom. The Chinese secret sauce that my master brought to the United States. It's secret because people of my generation don't know it, don't realize that's what it takes. You want to have contemplative wisdom you have to endure more suffering. The Chinese teachings endure suffering. Well, I'm teaching you endure more suffering. That's what the Chinese meant when they mean endure suffering. Actually, it means endure more suffering. That's how I become a wiser person. Agree or disagree? You smart people of the world says, if it's too much suffering, I can figure out a way to avoid it. Yes? Or give it to someone else. Give it to my husband. Hmm? No. You want have to have your own wisdom, you must endure. Don't sit there and ask, why me, why me, why me? There must be a better way than this. Questions or comments? Uh, and the Koreans don't, you know, hey, listen, uh, San Jose people and American people, the Koreans are totally great, ungrateful. I look at them and say, none of you really have contemplative wisdom. Only a few of you have contemplative wisdom. The rest of you are... Uh, and you, I just reveal you the secret sauce. Yeah. 네, 방금 마스터께서 말씀하신 것을 저는 체험했다고 할까요? 그런 생각이 듭니다. 제가 I, I feel like I I experienced something what you just mentioned. 제가 맨 처음에 결과 부자 수행을 시작을 할 때는 When I first started uh, full lotus practice, 현은 스님이 고원에서 그냥 따라서 해보자. 아니고 하고... 현은 스님 그렇죠? 네. 네. <웃음> XA uh, record suggest me. 예. 그래서 아 그냥 한번 해보지 하고 시작을 했는데. So I said okay, I'm gonna give a try. So I started. 얼마나 아프든지 제70 다 되는 인생 중에서. 처음으로 울면서 견뎌내 본일 중에 하나였습니다. So my life 70 years of my life 
This is the first time that I had to go through crying and to endure. 그리고 그때 생각하기는 이 고비를 넘기고 나면 At the time I thought if I overcome this pain, this uh, barrier. 그리고 나면 나중에는 아프지 않고 마스터처럼 편안히 하루 종일이라도 앉아 있는 줄 알았어요. I imagined <웃음> I would be able to sit like master comfortably without no pain whatsoever. <웃음> <웃음> 그래서 <웃음> so, 몇 달에 걸쳐서 잘 모르셨던 것 같아요. 마스터도 엄청 괴로움을 많이 겪고 있대요. <웃음> 하나도 안 아프신 줄 알았어요. <웃음> 누, 누가 그랬어요? 아니요, 제가 생각하기에. 아, nobody told her, but 응. I, I thought that you are, you have no pain whatsoever. 그래서 수영을 충분히 하면 아무렇지도 Because 않은 경지까지 if 가는 줄 알고. If I cultivate enough, I would be able to reach the state where I don't have to experience any pain. 그런데 이제 그 고통을 참으면서 그래도 하루도 쉬지 않고. 계속 내가 끝까지 이거 해봐야지 하는 생각으로 했습니다. But I decided that I would not quit. I will continue, and then every single day I practiced. 그러면서 고통을 겪으면서 아 내가 이렇게 약한 사람이구나 하고 있는 그대로 나 자신을 바라보게 됐고 so 그거를 받아들이게 됐습니다. I r e a l i z e I'm actually very weak. So I was able to recognize and accept that I'm actually that kind of person that uh, still is weak. Sheltered. 그러니까 잘 보호받았다. Thank you. <웃음> 아니 그게 아니라 그러니까 약하다는 거가 그러니까 shelter 됐다. 그러니까 좀 이렇게 어. 네, 보호받은 상태로 자랐다. 네, 네. 네. <웃음> 그러고 나니까 After that, 아, 이 고통을 내가 피하려고 할수록 more, 더 more, 힘들어지는구나. 네? 더 힘들어진다. The more I tried to avoid the pain, it, it was becoming more difficult. 네, 근데 더 고통스럽다는 걸 생각을 해서 오케이, 좋아. 그러면 so, 내가 견딜 때까지 견뎌보겠다. 한번 끝까지 가보자. Let me try to endure as much as I can. 예. 그렇게 하면서 이제 세 시간, 네 시간, 열 시간까지 이렇게 so, 앉을 수 있게 됐어요. I three, five, up to ten hours in full lotus. 그렇지만 어, 단전에 집중을 하기는 아직도 어, 어렵습니다. 잘안 됩니다. But still, concentrating on Dantian is challenging. Yeah, 그렇지만은 언젠가는 되겠지 이것도. Even <웃음> that, I believe I can. I may, uh, one day I'll be able to do it. 그리고 그것이 빨리 내가 원하는 대로 빨리 되든지 느리게 되든지에 를 내가 신경 쓰면 안 되겠구나. 내가 하는 만큼 내가 받을 수 있는 만큼 이루어지겠구나 하고 생각을 하면서 지금 계속 하고 있습니다. I'm continuing this practice thinking uh, I not rushed uh, maybe one day I will achieve as much as I apply effort or I deserve. 네. 그리고 여러 가지 어려움이 닥칠 때 every uh, a lot of uh, difficulties I have to face 오케이 okay, 이거는 내 몫이니까 내가 감당해야지. Because this is my share, I need to accept. 그렇게 마음을 먹고 나니까. After that, 원망하는 마음이나 불평하는 마음이 없어지면서 제 마음이 편안해졌습니다. 원망하는 마음, complaining my complaining thoughts, complaining mind or blaming mind has uh, disappeared. 그러면 네 그러면. <웃음> 그러면서 그 마음이 좀 흔들리지 않고 so my mind is not as much as as t a t e d before 예 그래서 아까 서주스님께서 견 인디오한다는 그 말씀에 에 100% 동의하고 아 그게 필요하다 그 과정이 필요하다 하고 so 생각하고 있습니다. So I agree 100% with s o j u s n i m to endure that is a necessary step. Mm-hmm. 
그리고 지금까지 한 2년 남짓 기간 동안에 제가 뭘 특별히 더 훌륭하게 더 좋아지는 건 아무것도 없지만 제 There's 스스로 nothing significantly improved upon myself for the past two years, but 제 스스로 어 크게 불평할 일이 없어졌어요. 모든 게 감사합니다. I feel thankful for everything. There's nothing to complain much. 남편이 위암으로 크게 아프고 있지만은 그것조차도 husband is very sick from cancer even that. 그것조차도 아 이것은 나에게 고마운 일이다. 내 남편이 참 소중하구나. 그동안까지 불평하고 좀 서운했었던 그런 게다 없어졌어요. Yeah, even the complaining mind uh, toward my husband has been this has gone has been gone uh, because my husband is very sick. 네. So I start feeling thankful even to my husband's illness. 그리고 남편도 지금 많이 회복되어 가고 있고 또 my 남편이 저에게 고마워하고 있고. Well, and he is also thank, thankful. 그래서 마스터께도 감사드리고 여러 um, 승가 여러분들께도 감사하고 또 so 여러 도반들께도 너무나 감사합니다. Thank you so much everyone. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for expressing yourself. Uh, YouTube comment. YouTube comments from Way Mountain Temple. Okay. Final comment to Way Mountain Temple because they raised a point here. Morali, you knew. So that's today's lesson. You're too smart. Like most oh, Indians hello? are. Can you hear me? Can they hear me? Okay. Most uh, Indians are way hello? too Can smart. Hello? Can you hear us? So you figure out a way. This court has been paused. Yeah, they cannot hear us. Yeah, we don't. We can hear you. Master's talking to Morali. Can you hear us? Way Mountain Temple. Okay, forget about Discord then. Hmm. Okay, so here's a problem in us at Morali. I'm talking about all of you, especially here in Korea where many of you are very, very smart. Your training or education requires you to be very, very we, we smart. We cannot hear you guys at Gold Forest. Hmm. And that's why you always try to get around problems. And that's why you're weak. The spiritual training, this spiritual training is designed to help you open your wisdom. And for, in order to do that, you have to stop, pay attention, Americans as well. Those of you who have a tendency of outsmarting the system. Figuring out an easy way to go about it, to get what you want. That's the way of stupidity. Okay? 
In our world, you have to be willing to endure it. Not just endure it, but endure more of it. There's no two ways about it. If you're really smart, I know you understand. You're really smart. Challenge yourself to find a way to do that. Find a way to endure more. Instead of find, finding a way to circumvent difficulties in your spiritual practice. Because this is one of the fastest ways for you to have real wisdom. It's a gift. Because many of you are not there. Because you're too smart. You only believe in yourself. All right, and there, of course, uh, there's another reason why this process of enduring more of the suffering. is so ingenious uh, because in that one sentence right there, one phrase right there, it encapsulates the Hinayana wisdom. It's not uh, the Agama store. Agama store is, is uh, there's no secret there. You read it, you understand what they're talking about. The Agama store does not have the secret wisdom. That's why the way they go about training their own kind, uh, is so slow because they, they don't understand the process behind it. In Mahayana, we understand how to train. That's why I can tell you exactly what happens when you do this, go through this process. This is what's going to happen to you. We know that already. But we don't explain it to you because for your own benefit. There are too many like you who want to come to the temple and say, tell me what it takes. Tell me what really happens. And once you hear it, you say, okay, now I know I don't need to do it. Cultivation is not about knowing. Cultivation is about whether you're able to do it or not. Whether you're able to endure it or not. Just like when, when you work out there in the real world, and you go to the client and say, you know, pay me because I know I can do it. You, wanna, you, wanna, you want a building? I can do it for you. Just pay me. Who would be stupid enough to pay you because you know how to do it? I only pay you when you, after you've done your building, after you build it for me. Not because you know how to build it. Yeah, I don't know why people keep on coming to our temples, to the, to the Buddhist temples. They tell me what I'm supposed to know. Tell me what it takes to, to open my wisdom. And we tell you, cross your legs. And they say, is that all? I say, yeah. And guess what? They say, now I know it. I don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> and that's a problem. That's why a lot of things that we won't reveal all the details to you. But this is the first time I reveal to all of you that the secret sauce from courtesy of my Chinese master is to endure suffering. And that's one of the first lessons I learned from him. 
for that, I'm very grateful. It was never emphasized that way. But if you have the blessings, then you're able to do it. Then you understand. Okay? Uh, it's not about knowing alone. It's also about having enough blessings to be able to execute. Okay, and once you understand, once you understand, then, then, then you know it's that's it's beautiful. The way the way it works is 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 uh, is just ingenious. But I won't tell you until you decide to be a teacher yourself. Questions or comments? Okay, so going back to slide 64, commentary, it says there, yeah, 아, 그럼 절에 오지 않고 집에서 그냥 결과 부자를 혼자서 하는 사람도 지혜가 생길 수 있는 건가요? 아니면 어, 혼자 했을 때는 지혜가 생기지 않는 건가요? If you sit in full or by yourself at home, do you still have wisdom or not? 그러니까 제가 질문 드리는 거는 그냥 우연히 그냥 결과 부자가 좋다는 것만 알았어요. 그래서 그냥 본인이 좋아서 결과 부자를 한다는 거죠. 그러니까 뭐 어떤 원리나 이런 뭐 지혜가 생긴다는 걸 전혀 모르고 그런 사람들도 지혜가 생길 수 있는 건 No. Never. Chan is never about full lotus. What is Chan? Enduring the suffering of full lotus. Slightly different. For most people, for from some people, say, okay, I sit in full lotus, so what's a big deal? And my question, my answer is, are you suffering? When you sit in full lotus, are you suffering? Ne? Yes. For how long? Ah, 제가 얼마나 앉을 수 있는지를 물어보시는 걸까요? 아, 제가 얼마나 앉을 수 있는지를 물어보시는 걸까요? No. What did I ask? 제가 뭘 물어봤죠? 괴롭냐고 물어보셨는데 You asked me if I'm suffering. 저는 육체적으로나 정신적으로나 또 제가 활동하는 거에서 모두 다 지금 가장 괴롭거든요. I'm suffering from physical all my activities, I'm just suffering. Okay, someday you understand. 그러면 어느 날 이해하게 될 겁니다. Anyone else? 다른 사람은? Okay. So, slide 64. 63. The ability to separate from marks is the purity of the dharma's substance. 능이 상을 여의는 그 능력이 어 바로 법체 청 법체 청정함이다. What does it mean? 그게 무슨 뜻인가요? Can you give me an example? These are big words. Can you give me an example? 예를 줄수 있나요? In your life. 여러분의 삶에서 that illustrates this. 이것을 보여주는 그런 예를 한번 들어보세요. Anyone? 누구든?
Then you don't understand. You cannot give an example. You don't understand. What this means? means. Forget about the theory to your Dharma substance. Can you explain to me what it is to be able to be separate from Marx? What does it mean? <laughs> Anyone? What does it mean to be separate from Marx? Hmm? These are very important concepts. The concept of Marx is a is very, very critical. 아주 중요한 일입니다. 이 개념이. To be separate from Marx, what does it mean? 그게 무슨 뜻인가요? 능이 상을 여의는 능력. Let's say you are rich. 여러분 부자라고 칩시다. Give an example of some someone who is rich and who is separate from Marx. 부자인데 상으로부터 여인 사람 예를 들어 보세요. Okay, never mind. You poor. 여러분 그러면 안 돼. Sorry. 죄송해요. No one. Okay, you're poor. How can you be separate from the marks of being poor? Maybe live on life? Don't scare them. <laughs> What does it mean to be separate from the mark of being poor? Give me an example. Self-sufficiency. Like what? Give me some example. Don't give me big words. I'm, I'm not very bright. Self-sufficiency doesn't mean anything. Uh, uh, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, to accept being poor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you think. Let me think. <laughs> I accept I'm poor. And then you're a loser. Okay, anyone else? Yes, orange. <웃음> 예를 들어서 제가 차가 필요해요. For example, I need a car. 근데 에, BMW를 타고 다니는 사람도 있고 현대차를 타는 사람도 있는데 There are people who drive BMW or Hyundai. 나는 돈이 없어서 현대차만 차밖에 살수 없을 때 only, I have only money for Hyundai. 현대 차를 사, 사서 그걸 사용하는 걸로 충분히 만족한다면 so, 그 가난이라는 상에서부터 벗어나는 게 아닐까요? Then 에? 뭐라 그맨 그때가 그렇게 벗어난다. 에. That is a, a separate from Marx. Okay. Let me change the example a little. 조금 바꿀게요, 그거를. You poor. 가난하다고 합시다. So, you have to have buy a car. 바, 차를 사야 돼요. It's between a Hyundai and an a Toyota. 현대일 수도 있고 <웃음> 소요타일 수도 있어요. 토요타는 안 돼요? 에? 에? 토요타 안 돼요? 
아, 그 별로라서? They don't like Toyota. See? Okay. They are not separate from Marx. Okay, next. 그러면 마크에서 분리되지 못했어요. Anyone can give me an example of be separate from Marx when you're poor? 가난했는데 상위에서 벗어나는 거에 대해서 예를 들어 주세요. Go for us. Uh, even if you win a super lotto, you're not too excited. You're lying. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes, sir. <laughs> 저희 그 종재에 나오는 궁사 불구연의 경계가 아닐지 모르겠습니다. 굶어 죽어도 그러니까 연애 이제 구하지 않는다 그냥. 궁사 불반연. 동사 불반연. 아 동사 아, 궁사 불구연. 아 궁사 불구연. Do not seek. 궁사. Or die from a 궁. Poverty. 구연. Do not seek. Mm-hmm. That's the example. 그게 예요? I was waiting and and. 그리고 어떻게 돼요? 그 궁사 불구연이에요? 그냥? 예, 예, 예. Anyone else? 다른 사람. 가난 가난이란 주제는 아니고요. 음, 그제 저의 집착하는 상 마스터 법문이 저한테 있어서는 세상 그 무엇 무엇보다도 중요하고 큰 것인데 이걸 알았는데 상황 때문에 어, 내 마음만큼 못 오고 있는 상태에서 제 상은 어, 제 집착은 가능한 마스터가 주제하시는 모든 행사랑 어, 법문이나 이런 걸다 참석하고 싶은 게제 마음이었는데 최근 들어서 음, 마스터 법문에서 어, 어제도 말씀하셨듯이 좋은 어, 어, 수행하는 수행하는 게 법문을 듣는 거나 결과 부자만 말하는 것은 아니다 라고 하셨고 또 다른 법문에서 내가 먼저 불자라면 먼저 좋은 사람이 되는 게 기본이다 라는 법문을 듣고 잠깐만 너무 길어가지고 제가 <웃음> So uh, I un, I understand that all masters dharma talk and everything is beneficial for me I already saw it So I'll, uh, I really want to come to all Dharma events Master is providing. But because, uh, like you said yesterday, not just sitting and listening to Dharma talk is cultivation. Is that right? I don't know. But today, my small child is sick and I was able to get up early in the morning. But uh, my... My young daughter was sick in the morning, so I couldn't make it to the temple this morning. 아이를 병원에 데려가면서 제 마음이 생각보다 많이 번뇌롭지가 않고. My mind was not that afflicted on the way to hospital with my daughter. 아이가 빨리 나았으면 하는 그런 마음이 들어서 이것이 상을 여인 게 아닌가. My daughter is going to be well on the way to the hospital. What does she have? 뭐 어디 아팠어요? I just come and cold. 감기 감기 어때요? When you take her to the hospital for common cold? 감기 때문에 애를 병원에 데리고 가요? You are not separate from Marx. 상으로부터 벗어나지 못했네요. Really? Really? 어? 아, uh, clinic, like clinic. Uh, summer clinics. Mm. Mm. Really? You take people to the clinic? You go to take people go to the clinic for a cold? Master, it's very cheap in Korea to go see a doctor. No wonder you are so weak. <laughs> 약하니까. <laughs> 왜 이렇게 약한지 몰랐는지 알았어요. DTT question. Yes. 
어? Work up or in the past, past and share the one piece of clothes uh, among the husband and the wife, and then they see a poor monk, so they donate that the only piece of cloth to that monk, so that they are not uh, attached to their poor. Your Korean fans are very impressed. <laughs> okay, Sangguk Sunim, give an example of detachment from Marx. I don't know. <laughs> don't get afflicted. Whatever happened. <gasps> oh my God, she never changed. <laughs> we need to send you back to Korea and have some open some real wisdom. <laughs> okay, what about go for us? Um, master, so if someone is poor uh, and they want to remain detached to Marx, um, they just make best with what they do and they still continue to give um, and they share whatever they have to the best that they can. Yeah, I'm impressed. I remember these uh, fun stories of people who travel to China. And uh, visiting these, uh, these uh, tourist uh, towns. And they uh, walk around town and run into a Chinese family which clearly doesn't have a lot of money. Total strangers. Well, the family would uh, you know, clearly is poor. They invite the uh, the tourist in. To have some tea. Chinese tea. While the husband chases after a chicken and kills it. And give him chicken, meat. Hmm? They, don't, they, they don't think of themselves as poor. I love those, those stories. Hmm? That's a long, along with the other examples, it's a, it's a, it's a proof of the purity of the heart. They're not attached to poor or rich. They're not attached to Chinese or Caucasian. Okay, they're not attached to common versus a sage. Such people have purity in their heart. Such people have tremendous, uh, tremendous potential to become enlightened. All right? Yes. Uh, 
그러니까 돈이 없어서 BMW 못 타고 현대차를 타도 마음이 번뇌롭지 않고 차가 있어서 다행이다라고 생각하는 게 밖으로 상을 여의는 게 아, 아닌지 아닌가 싶습니다. I was wondering if you don't have enough money to buy BMW and you drive Hyundai and then you still not afflicted. Maybe that's an example of uh, detached from all marks. Being poor. Be depressed. 나 같은 우울할 것 같은데요. Yes. 어 저는 지금 아무런 생각을 이렇게 그냥 이렇게 방향. 저는 지금 아무런 생각을 할수 없는 상태에 이르렀습니다. 그런데 음, 이렇게 가난하다, 부자라다. 라고 생각할 수 생각이 되어지지 않을 때 그런 상태가 아닌가 싶습니다. 그게 무슨 소리야? 아무 생각을 할수 없는 상태에 이르렀다는 네. 거예요. 내가 가난한지 부자인지 생각이 들지 않을 때. When you have no thoughts whether you're poor or rich, that may be this the case. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, go for us. Master, um, Diego Alfonso has a comment. When you're poor, he he, so, story of my life. When I see someone with a big house, a luxury car, a successful business, but they're not greedy for those things because you realize those things bring more and more suffering. I guess so. 집도 크고 차도 비싼 거 끌고 아주 성공적인 사업을 하는 걸 바, 봤는데 어, 그런 거에 대해서 탐욕이 없으면 그 그리고 왜냐하면 그것이 여러분에게 더 많은 고통을 가져온다라는 걸 알기 때문에 어, 더 그런 것에 대한 욕심이 없을 때 어, 그럴 때를 말한 그럴 때가 이 경우라고 생각합니다. Hmm. So to be separate from Marx here refers to the fact that you're not affected by the state. For example, when you meditate and you suddenly feel uh, itchy. That's a state, yes, state of feeling itchy. How do you separate from that mark of itchiness? We scratch it. We scratch it. Thank you. How else can you show that you separate from the marks? Yes. 간지러울 때 단전에 집중하려고 노력을 해 보면 <웃음> 간지러움이 지나가는 것을 느끼는 때가 있었습니다. I have an experience. I concentrate on the antenna while feeling itchy. The itchiness goes away itself. For real? 진짜로요? Is it possible? Okay, so to be separate from Marx means that you don't think about it. You do nothing about it. Your actions are not based on that. And that is the purity of the Dharma's substance. Okay. All right. Any questions or comments? So this slide, today's lecture, the 64, number 64 here, is to learn not to be attached to external marks. Meaning you're rich. Don't expect people to treat you like a rich person. You shouldn't demand to have the best room in the hotel. 
Mm. Okay. Uh, so you you don't you don't attach to external marks. You wear nice clothes is okay. You wear you know not nice clothes is okay. You we really are not attached to anything. And that's the Dharma substance of wisdom. Okay? The substance here is, is, gives rise to wisdom. All right. Any, anything else? 65, good knowing advisors. The non-defilement of the mind in all states is called non-thought, no thought. In your thoughts, you should always be separate from states. Do not give rise to thought about states. Okay. Okay, commentary in 66. Uh, good no advisors. When confronted with a state, the mind is not defiled. That is called no thought. That's what the Chinese says. I don't know how it's a translation to Korean, but it's very precise in the Chinese. You encounter a state. And the mind is not defiled. That is no thought. Is it what it says in Korean? Yeah, you're being, you're being, um, like, uh, like, uh, died. died upon. Died in. Yeah. So the, oh, it says on the, on the all kinds oh, of... Oh, we, we passed, we, we over time? Yeah, we over time. <sighs> Again? No, it's okay, we only over 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, but my legs are hurting, I don't have to hurt this much. Never mind. Can we finish this and we, we stop? Hmm? Uh, so, uh, basically, I, I don't like the way they, they turn things into literary things. It, the, the patriarch's teaching is very, very, very simple, simple-minded, very, very accurate. You have a state. Meaning what? Whatever happens. Anything that happens. Someone insults you. Someone praises you. That's a state. Yes? You're hungry. That's a state. You're tired. That's a state. Yes? Huh? Anything that happens, no matter what happens, the mind is not defiled. What does it mean, whatever, whatever happens, the mind is not defiled? What does it mean? Now we keep the, we use the technical jargon, the mind is not defiled. 
we don't change the English into the non-defilement of the mind. Can you just be real? The mind is not defiled. Is that the Chinese says? Your mind here is not defiled by the state. What does it mean? It's not, yes? 마음이 뭐 즐거워지거나 슬퍼지거나 화나거나 하지 않는다는 거 아닐까요? 감정이 변하지 않는다는 거? It's not affected at all. Run here is not affected in any way. Very much like when you have a die and it's a die coming to you, you're not going to be died at all, no matter what. Okay? You come into contact with a dye that's red. You don't become red. You come in contact with a dye that's black. You don't want to become black. That is sin bura. You cannot be dyed. You cannot be changed. Someone insults you. You don't like that person less. Someone praises you. You don't like yourself more. That means the mind is not defiled by the event. Whatever happens, your mind doesn't move. What is the mind doesn't move? Means that you don't think about it. That's why I have fun when, when uh, recently when I told my San Jose uh, people, I said, you know, I, now I get older and I look at Master Shiro's teaching when I first learned, he says, when someone insults you, pretend it's, uh, they're speaking to you in Japanese. And I chuckled, I said, I used to be so impressed by that. Wow, how clever. You know, what did you say? You know, and, and that's not non-defilement. It's not, the mind is defiled already. Because you pretend, you perfectly understand that you'll be insulted. But then you say, I'm going to pretend that actually it's in uh, Japanese. Therefore, I will not be affected. That's not an example of the mind not defiled. Is that clear? The mind not defiled meaning that no thought arises whatsoever. You're free. No one can affect you. Nothing affects you. Sin Buran here could be rephrase as Sin Budong. Meaning that your mind doesn't strike up a thought. Huh? Okay, so that is called no thought. Okay. In your thoughts, should always be separate from states. Do not give rise to thoughts about states. So in, when you think, you should be separate from states. Hmm. What does it mean to be separate from state when you think? I don't know what it means. Don't be attached to states. How do you how how do you know you attach to states? Because you think about the state. I'm itching. You feel itchy feeling. That's a state. And you scratch. What does scratching mean? How do you scratch yourself? Because you said scratch myself. You don't just. Like AI says, 
And itchy, therefore, AI, scratch me. No. Okay, you, you itchy and because you scratch only because you say scratch yourself. You strike up a thought of scratching yourself. When you itchy in the nose, anyone when you meditate, huh? No one? Yeah. So it itchy, you don't, you don't, you don't scratch your nose. Scratching your nose is to be, not be separate from state. Do not give rise to thoughts about states. Meaning that that's exactly what happened. You say, oh, I'm itchy here. You're thinking about here. So no matter what happens, the mind does not move. Does it help? That's it. Very simple. Too simple for you. Okay, we stop here. Thank you, everyone. Wang Sam.